What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to Mr. Plays. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys what I think Nintendo should do with Mario Kart 9. First, guys, I want to talk about the cups. Now, right now, there's like 12 cups in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think there should be 16 in Mario Kart 9. And obviously, if you don't already know, there are four races in each cup. Now, I think we should take eight cups directly out of Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe, just taking all the best, um, courses from our Kart 8 Deluxe and take, um, you know, eight, put them up together into eight cups and just put those right into Mario Kart 9. Then I think the next, um, four cups should be from, like, the best, um, Mario Kart courses in history in past Mario Karts. And finally, with the last four cups, I think it just should be, like, 100% original, um, tracks, um, just unique to this game, and, uh, yeah, just so, just to give us more, uh, you know, fresh content. You know, if you've played all past Mario Karts, and you want something new, it'll have, like, four cups, so 16 just brand new tracks. Next up, guys, power-ups. Now, honestly, I'm, I think they should keep all the power-ups from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, except for the coin, because I just, I hate that power-up, it's, it's not very good. And I think they should also take, like, like I said earlier with the courses, I think they should take, like, all the best power-ups from Mario Kart history, and then also add a couple more new power-ups that, um, original. And I also think they should add, um, um, like, unique power-ups to, um, characters, so maybe, like, say you're Inkling Girl, and, uh, you could get a power-up that's, like, um, you know, maybe you, uh, take out, like, your gun or something, and you, uh, shoot someone and they, you know, they get stunned or something. I don't really know, that's just a random example, um, off the top of my head, but there's so much potential with, like, having characters, like, maybe if they add, which I'll get to later, if they add, like, Kirby, maybe he could, like, swallow, um, a character or something like that, and maybe get, like, a unique ability or something. I think they should just add something else to the game on top of that. And also about the coins, like I said earlier, I think instead of being being able to hold up um, to 10 coins, I think it should now be 20 because I think 10 is just a little too low. Also, guys, I think um, that in Mario Kart 9, I think they should add two more difficulties. I think instead of just um, two, um, 50cc to 200cc, I think they should now have 250cc um, and 300cc gets... When I play 200cc, I get first place every time. It's not very hard for me anymore. Like, once you've practiced for, like, 50 hours, you can pretty much get first place in 200cc every time. So, I think they should add 250 and 300cc. Now, guys, I know a lot of people, like, they don't really want a Mario Kart 9, but instead they want, like, what they're calling it is a Nintendo Kart, where they have, like, pretty much, like, all the characters from, like, Super Smash Bros. and stuff, like, and, and even though, like, Pac-Man's not Nintendo, like, they also want, like, Pac-Man and those characters. Because, I mean, like, there are 41 characters in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But there's over 100 characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. And now I think with the DLC, it's, like, 102 characters or something. And for me, it just doesn't make sense why, like, you know, Link's in Mario Kart. Why isn't Zelda? Why isn't Ganon? Now, I don't, now this is something else that I don't understand at all, which I talked a little bit about earlier, which is why Kirby's not in Mario Kart. I just don't get that at all. He's a huge Nintendo character. It doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, um, I really think they should add him in Mario Kart 9 or Nintendo Kart. So, yeah, definitely add, like, a bunch of new characters. Um, whether you're going to go full out and do, like, Smash Ultimate and just add, like, um, you know, 50 more characters, or if you're still just gonna add, like, 20, but just make sure you add a lot of good characters, like Zelda, Ganon, Kirby, and that kind of thing. Finally, guys, I think in Mario Kart 9, I think there should be a story mode. Now, I was thinking about, you know, how Forza Horizon and, like, other racing games like that, and how there's, like, a, st and how, like, Mario Kart should definitely have a story mode. I think even an open world story mode where you could just drive around, maybe, like, see, oh, New Donk City, then there's Hyrule Castle, and then you just go around, and you see, oh, look, Luigi's Mansion, and you could just drive around there and be all this cool stuff. I think an open world would just have so much potential in Mario Kart. I think it'd be so sick, and maybe you could, like, I don't know, race Bowser at the end to, um, save Peach or something like that. I don't know, but 
I think that would be amazing. And maybe you could even, like, like before you go into story mode, you pick the character you want to do the story for. So, if you, like, if you pick Link, you're in Hyrule. Or if you pick, like, Inkling Boy, you're in Ingopolis. Or if you pick Mario, you're in the Mushroom Kingdom. I just think that would be very cool um, if they added this story mode open world. There's a ton of potential there. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on any new videos. And remember, we're also on Twitter and TikTok, so you can check us out on both of those platforms. But until next time, peace!